Well, it's just another little update here on the garden. It's about done for, I think, this year. It's been pretty hot this, this month, August, here in the Show Me State. And uh, so this is just our latest bunch of cucumbers or something I planted here, much of the vice of their uh, squash. But anyway, then if you'll see that fence over there with nothing on it, that was the cucumbers. And well, we done good on them, I will say. We got like 31 quarts of dill pickles off of them. And uh, so that worked out good. And then the tomatoes over here, they're about done for too. We got a few off of them. Not many, although we did can around 40 quarts of tomatoes. Not from here. They was from the uh, neighbors that had to, way too many. Her husband got a job in, I don't know, Georgia, someplace like that, and uh, couldn't tend to them. So they was nice enough to give them to us. And there's some green beans over there. Uh, they really, this is my second batch of green beans. We won't go over and take another These look beans at them. here was the uh, second batch. I don't know when I planted them, maybe a month and a half ago or something like that. We've been getting beans off of them already. And that really green looking batch over there, they've been there for quite some time. We've been getting lots of beans off of them. And uh, uh, they'll still be putting on some more and these here be putting on more. You might be able to hear that thunder in the background. Yeah, it'd be nice if we get a good rain around here. Uh, it's been pretty dry as you can see by the dirt and everything. But And then we'll go up here and take another look at this uh, other part and see what's going on. These are those little cherry tomatoes. Boy, they really did good, but I think them things are growing a sand pile. And, uh, they, of course, they're dying out now, but then again, it's been really hot, and it's getting closer to the end of the season. And on down there a little farther, well, that's our regular uh, tomatoes. We didn't do really good on tomatoes this year. I was kind of hoping we would, but uh, we didn't really. And then the wife's got a, some kind of squash growing down here. I don't know if you can even see it or not. There's various different ones in there. But, uh, but anyway, that's uh, that's a, this little part of the garden here, and we got these up here. I know it's going to be shaky, but we got these up here in the tubs. That's that's an all right way of doing things, I guess. But you really got to water them. Uh, you can see that pipe in there, the white pipe. Maybe that's a that's a watering tube there, kind of like an irrigation deal, and it works all right, I guess. I, I really thought I'd be more impressed than I am, but uh, it ain't just too bad, I guess. This is the other bunch of tomatoes we got out here. They're pretty scrawny looking too, I know. And then the, yeah, the wife's got some of her vegetables in here. I don't know. I really have no idea what they are. Uh, yeah, I don't eat that many vegetables. I should, but I don't. I think that's some, I don't know, radishes or something over there at the far end. But anyway, this is just about the end of our garden, I think, this year. Hasn't been one of the better years we've had. This is our big old chicken crop, a whole three of them. Uh, them the pickiest thing. Most chickens I've seen eat anything. These chickens, they got spoiled on uh, some chopped up grain a neighbor of ours made. Now they will hardly eat nothing else. They're just, they're all hens. They, uh, they've been starting to lay a little bit, but, oh, uh, they're all right. They, they do a lot of making noise, but luck would have it, they don't crow too much because they're not roosters. We had to get rid of the roosters here in town. You can't have them. Ain't really supposed to have these, I don't guess, but tough luck on that. If they don't know, if they don't, they don't hurt them. Okay, that's about it for the chickens, too, I think. Look at her vegetables. She's really big on them. As you can see, she's using some cast iron cookware there. That's what we usually use most of the time anymore. And I just want to put that little bit in here. Just need to see some of the stuff we got out of our garden. Yeah. All right.